Okay, we're gonna make some sweet potato treats for the dogs. So I have two sweet potatoes or yams. I'm gonna peel them. Okay, I'm gonna be using my mandolin here, but I'm going to cut off so I can start on a flat surface. The edges here. You can use a knife on a cutting board, but this is much easier and more consistent. I'm going to adjust my height. Get the right one. And depending if you want them crispy or not, the, if you want them crispy, I would do them thinner. I'm gonna do them kind of in between. And I know people are scared of cutting their fingers on one of these, and I just don't go all the way down. Whoop. As I lose it. Ah, leave it. Dog's almost got a raw one. And sweet potatoes are hard. So I've got them about so thick. Um, you know, an eighth of an inch, between an eighth of an inch and a quarter inch. You can make them thinner, actually. I think I might It'd take less time to dehydrate. Let's see what that does. Yeah, there's actually a little, I think that's probably better. That's closer to an eighth. It'll take a little bit less time in the dehydrator or the oven, whichever one you choose. All right, so now it's getting a little bit close to the edge, so I'll use my little handy protector so I don't cut my fingers off. Okay, that right away. So I got a pile here I'm gonna put in my bowl. And then do my next one. So you can see the mandolin makes it way faster than a knife and also more consistent, like I said. Okay. Another pile here to put in the bowl. And then you can just literally do it plain. So just leave them plain and put them in the dehydrator. But I'm gonna add a little extra bonus health benefits with some coconut oil. So I've got this is um, extra virgin organic, virgin uh, unrefined organic coconut oil. So I'm gonna put about a tablespoon, heaping spoonful, and that over here. And then turmeric, which is um, great for dogs and people. So I'm just going to shake. I don't measure. <laughs> I'm just going to shake some in there. And then I have fresh parsley from the garden that I'm going to shake some in there too. All these things are safe for dogs, safe and healthy. And then just mix around, get it all coated. And then once I have that all coated, I'm going to lay them out in an even layer in the dehydrator. And I use my dehydrator a lot, actually, house. So you can see I've got it all coated, pretty good and even. And I'm gonna go stick them in the dehydrator. Okay, so the trays I have here, they're just the trays that go in the dehydrator and I'm going to take them and you want to space them out, no overlapping. Now some of these that I made a little bit thicker are going to be a little chewier than the ones that came out thinner. And either way, your dogs will enjoy them. And you can too, actually. These are healthy for people too. They're a good little, um, 
they're a good substitute for potato chips. Okay, put that one. I'll give you a link to the dehydrator that we have. My husband actually gave it to me as a gift a couple years ago and one of the best additions to our kitchen. Cause it's great not only for treats for us, we dehydrate, like I said, the apples. Um, I've dehydrated, we do beef jerky, which you could also make for the dogs too, but uh, what else can you make? Lots of different dog treats. You can dehydrate, you know, chicken or fish skins, chicken liver, beef liver, and those kind of things all are healthy for your dog. I did all of this in less than 10 minutes. And in the store, you'd probably pay like $10 for these, if not more. And I don't remember what I paid for the sweet potatoes, but it was not expensive. Okay, there they are. I only have three layers. That was two sweet potatoes. So the temperature is going to depend on your model. The one that I have, um, I'm going to do at 125 for, it says 8 to 12 hours, so I'm going to go ahead and do 12 hours because they were pretty thick. And then hit start, and then we just sit and wait. And Ginger here says she can't wait to try them. Right, Gingy? You want to try a sweet potato treat? Are they going to be yummy? Say yes. <laughs> Say yes. Yes. They're going to be yummy. Yes. Okay. We'll be back to test them out with the dogs. Okay. So sweet potatoes are done. And that was 12 hours. And they're pretty crispy. Can't bend them. So they are crispy. Even the thicker ones. So 12 hours is good for the thickness that I did. Now let's test to see if the dogs like them. Actually, I'm going to try one too. Mm. Okay. Look, Ginger's right back where she left off. Would you like to try one, Ginger? Be nice. Girl. I like it. Okay. Now we have bear. Sit. And he likes it too. Don't leave any crumbs. Thunder's oh, coming. Okay, I'll give you a smaller one. Thunder's a little bit more thick to see. Okay. Go back, wait. You like to spit it out, taste it, and the other dog just chew it, swallow it. Do you like that? No, oh, he's even going to clean up Bear's mess. Good job! Good boy! Good girl! And they want another one. So I'd say, sweet potato treats are a success. I just have to put them, I'm going to put them in a Ziploc baggie and they will have them for treats when they come inside.